what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking the following figure shows an electromagnet with two parallel air gaps neglecting leakage and iron reluctance but considering fringing at the air gaps by adjusting adjusting the air length i mean gap lengths calculate the flux and flux density in each leg of the magnetic circuit all dimensions are in inch okay so this is in inch that's the main thing to notice here we are asked to find out the flux and flux density now to find out the flux this is the equation flux is equal to current times the turns divided by reluctance now here we have the current provided that is here and the number of turns also provided that is thousand the only thing we have to find out is the reluctance okay and they are asked to find out the each leg each leg mean here we have middle part right side part left side part i mean this is left side part this right side part we have to find all of them now let's start with the middle one flux in middle leg is going to be the current is 0.251 that's provided right here multiply by the number of turns that's 1000 divided by the reluctance here in order to calculate this one we have to find out the reluctance first reluctance in the middle <coughs> in the middle is equal to mu naught l divided by a mu naught is the mu naught is a constant value that is 4 5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 that's permeability constant l is the length here the length of the middle part is the length is 4 4 inch okay so multiply by 4 but we have to convert this one into meter to convert this one into meter we have to multiply this one by 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 okay now this is for the length and uh, mu naught in the bottom we are going to divide this one by the area the area is going to be the width is 2 2 times 2 times mm, Alexa what is 2 times 2.54 2 multiplied by 2.54 equals 5.08 okay 2 times 2.54 actually this one should be square because this is a this is an area i also have to multiply this one by 10 to the power of minus 2 all together square and if you calculate this value you are going to get 9.8947 times 10 to the power of 5 ampere turns per weber okay now this is the reluctance now we are asked to find out the flux we have the current turns only thing required was reluctance we found out the reluctance right here we just had to divide the flux by the reluctance flux is equal to actually not flux by the reluctance i n divided by reluctance i n is zero i n is i is 0 0.251 n is thousand divided by the reluctance that is nine point 8947 times 10 to the power of 5 and if we divide this one we will get 0 0.253 milliweber this is our flux now here we are also asked to find out the flux density they asked to find out the flux and flux density to find out the flux density flux density the equation is this phi divided by a phi is the flux that is we calculated right here 0 0.253 times 10 to the power of minus 3 because milli divided by the area area is here this is the length 2 times 10 to the power of 2 times 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 times 1 
times 2 times 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and if we calculate this one that's going to give us 1.96 tesla this is our flux density now we have found out the reluctance for the middle part flux of the middle part flux density of the middle part now we have to do the same thing for right and left leg okay let's start for the right side or left side reluctance of the left legs reluctance of left leg this is our left leg here we have a AR gap also we have to consider that one as well mu naught LG LG gap of the AR gap A plus mu naught L a. Here what we can do, we can take mu naught over a common multiply by Lg plus L Lg plus L mu naught is 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 4 phi times 10 to the power of minus 7 divided by the area area is, since the distance is 1 this is going to be just 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 square okay so lg plus l ar gap distance is ar gap is 0 0.02 so this is going to be just 0 0.02 to convert this one into inch we have to multiply this one by multiply this one by 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 but what, I'm, what we can do is we can add this length and multiply all together by 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 because both of them are in inches this length is the total length is 6 because you can see this is 4 and uh, we have 1 each side so 6 minus the air gap that is 6 minus 0 0.02 okay and uh, all together multiplied by 2.54 times 10 to the power of minus 2 and that gives us <coughs> that uh, that gives us 2 times 14.84 times 10 to the power of 5 ampere turns per Weber Alexa what is 2 times 14.84? 2 multiplied by 14.84 equals 29.68 Okay, this is 29.68 times 10 to the power of 5 Ampere turns per Weber Okay, this is a rel reluctance for the left leg and uh, from this one we can find out the Okay, let's find out the reluctance for the right leg as well. Let's use a different color. Reluctance of right leg. To make this one short, you can see the similarities. Um, similarities is for the right one we have the AR gap is a little bit bigger, 0 0.04 and what happens is here you can see we are adding and subtracting the AR gap, right? so it doesn't make any difference because the AR gap is going to be cancelled anyway so 6 is the only thing remaining even if you apply 0 0.04 it's going to be the same thing because 0 0.04 plus 6 minus 0 0.04 so you are going to get the same results as this one ok so instead of doing the calculation I would put the formula mu naught LG over A plus mu naught L over A here the difference is LG plus L will be 0 0.04 plus 6 minus 0 0.04 that's the only difference otherwise the answer is going to be the same thing because 0 0.04 0 0.04 cancels anyway ok so final answer is going to be 2 times 14.84 times 10 to the power of 5 ampere turns per Weber and that is 29.68 times 10 to the power of 5 
ambient transfer Weber okay now we have to find out the flux in the right leg now we here we have found out the flux in the middle flux in the middle is 0 0.253 and if you look at the right leg and left leg the difference is here the distance is 2 here we have the distance is 1 so instead of calculating all over again we just we can just based on the based on the length we can divide this one by 2 that's going to give us a right side and left side flux right and left are going to be equal because both of them are equal distance so flux right is equal to flux left that's going to be equal to 0 0.253 divided by 2 that is equivalent to 0 <coughs> 0 0.1265 Weber milliweber 1265 milliweber because this is milli so this is also milli right left is same now flux density also going to be the same for both side to calculate flux density let's go ahead and continue on top f density density right is going to be equal to f density for left left and that is going to be equal to flux divided by 0 0.1265 flux divided by the area area is here the distance is 1 so this is going to be just unit area the like 2.54 because we convert meter into in inches into meter so 2.54 times 10 to the power minus 2 power 2 and that gives us 0 0.196 tesla both side is going to be the same flux density due to the same distance okay and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn electromechanical system there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time